Hi, I'm George. Welcome to MediV. Today, let's talk about Xpeng, which has one of the best ADAs in China. They released the first car five years ago, and now a sub-brand is almost here, aiming for the 20,000 car market worldwide. And the first one will be a compact electric sedan. In addition, they have set up three goals for this car. First, uncompromising quality. Second, FSD-like ADAs. And third, a certain amount of profit. Doesn't this sound familiar? That's right. Four years ago, Elon Musk wanted to make something similar, probably called Model 2, Model C, or Model Q, which could be manufactured by the Mexican factory next year. But now, Xpeng did that one year earlier. How? Let me break it down to you. If we know just a little about 20,000 US dollar market, we know that a cheap, smart, and profitable ADAS is almost like a Penrose triangle, impossible to exist. To achieve that, Tesla has been reducing components, simplifying processes, vertically integrating industrial chains, and cutting hardware costs, planning to lower half of the cost in their next model. But what made Xpeng's plan progress faster? we'd have to start it with its two $7 million deals. The first one was with Volkswagen, who acquired about 5% share in July 2023, planning to collaborate on EV platforms, software, technology, and supply chain. Here's an interesting story. When the two were in talk about platform of the G9 SUV in 2023, Xpeng showed Volkswagen the bomb cost and got a reply saying, the product is very capable, but the cost is too high. Then the Germans provide a more reasonable bomb cost, leading to a new G9 that is 15 to 20% cheaper. After that, they started to join purchase. Xpeng managed to lower its own procurement cost using Volkswagen's vast and global supply chain. The second one happened in August 2023 when Xpeng acquired the assets and the research capabilities of an EV unit from DD, which is the largest mobility service provider in China. Before this acquisition, DD has already invested billions of RMB in nearly finished pre-production compact EV. Xpeng plans to integrate its own architecture and AI capabilities into this one and mass produce it. And this is exactly where the first model of Xpeng sub-brand came from. Moreover, Xpeng will also utilize Didi's large fleet, operational capability, and data, targeting both consumers and businesses. After all, Didi has millions of ride-hailing cars. With the help from Volkswagen and Didi, it's no wonder why Xpeng can get ready an affordable full self driving car in such a short time. However, these are external factors. What matters more comes from Xpeng itself. If each model is installed with a different software, there will be a whole lot more repetitive development and complicated maintenance. If the optimal package for each version is a priority, there will be so many SKUs that even the salespersons might lose track of. Moreover, if there's too much emphasis on innovation, cost might be out of control very soon. These are the problems Xpeng encountered in the past few years and has been in the top spot on their reflecting list. So in 2023, Xpeng started to change. It integrated the powertrain, mechanical structure, electronic architecture, intelligent cockpit, and ADAS into one called Fuyao architecture. For the next three years, all new cars will be using these architectures with up to 80% commonality, reducing development cost and bomb cost. Additionally, Xpeng started to find ways to reduce cost from the design stage. Let me give you an example. When Xpeng's Xnet perception network was first developed, it, it required the full computing power of an orange chip. But through many optimizations, Xnet now needs only 10% of the power to run. The improved efficiency in utilizing computing power means fewer HPCs, and the perfection of algorithm means fewer or even zero expensive hardware like LiDARs. Therefore, Xpeng's ability to launch four self-driving cars priced below $20,000 US dollars 
is attributed to its development of core technology, platformization, and joint development and procurement. All these conditions are essential for its success. As one of the few car makers in the world solely focused on producing EVs, Expo's desire of scale and globalization is quite strong. This new affordable model with full self-drive will not only be sold in China, but also enter global markets. Furthermore, the T6 will also launch a global version soon, followed by a right-hand drive version, truly become a global EV. By next year, Expo's smart navigation guided pilot XNGP will also be developed for global markets. Technology shouldn't become a privilege for the few. For car makers, making better products and more advanced smart features affordable to more people is beneficial for the development of the global automotive industry and the sustained existence of consumer demand.